Bobcats moving out to center ice. This is Oliver Chow to start things from a standstill. Lost the puck to Lampinen. Lampinen across for Surdy. Surdy a shot. That one caught the outside of the iron. Here's Hallbauer keeping it in. Off the back of the net. Lampinen trying to track it down. It does. Aspu Finland native trying to send it in front. Shot by Laka. Well, another shot by Lampinen. And that one's turned away by Peretz as well. Throws it back to the point and stripping Klee was Lombardi. He's back the other way. Lombardi walking in and he scores. A wonderful move there by Michael Lombardi to pick up his fourth goal of the year. A senior from Barrington, Rhode Island. As looked like one of the engineers got caught in the celebration there. I think Baxter and they had to be separated. But uh, after RPI knocked on the door for a good 30 seconds there, Coach, the Bobcats take it back the other way and score a real nice goal. Look at it there. Yeah, it looks like that play created, was created at the offensive blue line. RPI D kind of loses it a bit, and he takes it from the neutral zone all the way down, makes a real good play on uh, Marshall. And that's the important thing. Face-off win for the Bobcats. Back to the point. This is Metza to the slot. A one-timer by Bon Giovanni, the captain, and that one stopped by Marshall right in the chest. It hit him. Van Ness, 35 to go on the first power play of the game. Lee across. One-timer save, Marshall. Back to the point. This is Hallbauer beaten on the far side. Hallbauer center blue line. Now Linden a shot and a blocker save by Peretz. Breaking ahead. Again to Adamo at the wall. Drops it off to Dubinsky. Johnson, wrist shot coming and a blocker save again by Peretz. Uh, Agnew momentarily. Now good hustle by Lepinen back in his own zone. Shoots it off the wall. It'll be Laka. Turning and firing it ahead for Dubinsky. Dubinsky into the circle on his backhand. A shot and a save. Rebound gloved away. There's a couple engineers providing a uh, bit of a disturbance in front of the Quinnipiac net. Now back to the point. One timer by Agnew. And that one's knocked away by the pad. Feeding it in deep again. The engineers have done a good job tonight. When they've wanted to get the puck in deep, they've done it. Snap pass in front. Lepin in a shot to save. Rebound. Another stop. Another one off the post. Still scrapping away. And they're jamming in the... Netminer is out of the net, and somehow that doesn't go. Linden has it hit a skate. Now back the other way. Shot comes in. Oh, Marshall with a save. A huge one right there as he denies Smolanic. Behind the goal, it's uh, Burgart. He tried a little wraparound play. That didn't work. Now he gets it back again. A quick shot and a save by Marshall. As it almost developed too quickly, he's... DeYoung went behind the goal, tried to pass it back, but Marshall hadn't left the post. Now here's Bowman walking in. Bowman a shot and a save. Rebound! And it was Schreifels crashing the net. He never got a stick on it. Tight angle. Doesn't elect to shoot this. Back to the high slot area. Some room for Massa. He'll take a shot, and Marshall makes the save. No rebound. Now here's Beaton trying to center. He had Adamo, but he missed him with the pass, and Adamo just runs a man over. Beaton in front. One-timer. Oh, no. Another stop there as Brackett was denied to center. Dumped in by Lepinen. Less trying to clear, and it's out to center ice. Race for the puck, and it's going to be an empty net goal for Oliver Chow. His seventh of the year, and it's 2 nothing Quinnipiac with 12.4 seconds to go. Oliver Chow, another guy from Oakville, Ontario, transferred from UMass. And that, it's funny how the game changes when you have that opportunity. And goaltender comes up big. Well, we thought RPI with about 10 minutes left was going to get a chance. They actually got two really good opportunities to tie this game. and They did. Couldn't quite stick it home.